Hey, he's going guys. It is here. It arrived this morning. We were a little bit late. What the hell am I talking about? The Lao China High Speed Rail. Vientiane took receipt of its first ever high speed rail passenger car this morning. Named Lan Sang. Lan Sang was the name of the empire before Laos. Before it was named Laos. Anyway, it arrived this morning. They had a bit of a ceremony. It wasn't open to the public, but me and Nini thought we'd get over there, see if we can get in, capture something for you guys. I know there's a lot of people who are interested in this rail, whether they're for it or against it. It, um, it is a big thing for Laos being a landlocked country. So yeah, we got in there a, a little bit too late. We weren't able to capture as much as we'd like but we did get a good look at the new um train station right there was allowed to walk around a lot of construction going on still they still haven't made built the main road entrance road into it had to take this little side road still lots of work done it will be open i think it's about the it's either the second or the 12th of december but as i let you guys know in the video it is not open to passengers straight away and speaking of passengers where the um there is 20 stations only 10 of those will be passenger stations and only five of those 10 are major passenger stations starting with natoi which is one station south of Bowton up on the border then you've got mung sai in udum sai luang prabang bang vieng that's it that's five yep Anyway, this is what we caught today. Hello guys. This is the new Vientian train station. Still a lot of construction going on here. Big open areas. Supposed to arrive yesterday, but it was delayed. Stayed at Udomsai last night in Northern Laos. Sabadi. Sabadi. Hello, Sabadi. Okay, let's go in and get a look at this Lan San. How exciting is this? Our first look at Laos's first high-speed train. Well, Laos's first train, really, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Okay. We've been kicked out. We've been kicked out. We'll have a sticky beak over the fence. It's closed. It was advertised that we're coming into the engine today, but it wasn't advertised that uh, people were free to come down here and view it. We just thought it'd be a good idea to come and see it. <laughs> and we can't get in and see it. There's an artist's impression of what it will look like. I'm not going to say, I told you so, Nini. I won't say that. Yes, sir. Big family. Ah, it's over, is it? Yeah. Okay. They have a ceremony up there. Yeah. You see? And they're just sitting around having drinks now. I don't think we're going to get a good, a good look at it, Nini. 
it still is on the other side here I'm just looking for cracks in their armor but there is none That's the best I'm going to be able to do for you guys. Paint it up in the Laos national colours, the flag colours, but that's it. That's the train. <laughs> I've got longer arms. I've just got to do the same thing for Nini now. Really? Yeah. Poor Kama Sa, I just want to go. Just your bone head, honey. My bone, bone head. That's it, guys. How exciting was that? Um. A little bit of info about the train. We'll go out this way. There's no need going back through the building. 427 kilometres from the Boton, Boton border gate up in the up on the Chinese Lao border. 427 kilometres of track down to here. 198 kilometres of that track is tunnel. So nearly 50% of the track is in tunnel. 62 kilometers of it is on bridges. So with the tunnels and bridges combined, you're looking at around 60% of track. You are either in a tunnel or on a bridge. Is opening on the, the 12th, I think it is. Is it the 2nd or the 12th? December. It doesn't matter anyway, because it is not open for passenger rail to start with. They are concentrating on freight to start with, mainly due to because of the, the COVID situation and that. And it'd uh, be a good way to get all the bugs ironed out of it, hey? Get all the buffalo off the tracks, make sure that it does work properly before they've got cu uh, customers on it. So, no passenger rail for a while now. They um, have not given us a date when they will start taking passengers could be a month could be a year we don't know it has always been advertised december 2021 everybody just thought it would be open for passengers then but no starting off with rail so i'd say it's really going to be down to um this situation that we're in with the pandemic how long before they will start accepting passengers because we cannot go transporting passengers between provinces and you know, some provinces have got virtually zero cases where Luang Prabang, the ancient capital at the moment they're both high up on the list as far as cases so you open the rail to passengers then you're spreading it quicker further further quicker That's all I got for you. <laughs> Bit of a letdown, wasn't it? We did get to see the train. Not like we, we planned to see it, of course. But uh, we were able to see the new train station and see where they're up to. Still got a lot of work to do within the next six weeks or so. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. See you in the next one.